I mean, oftentimes people do ask me that question. How can you be a, a priest and a scientist at the same time? And I said, well, you know, it seems obvious to me that that would actually be a good thing. If both are means of seeking the truth, of seeking wisdom, of coming to understand this reality that we call creation, and to understand the creation within which we exist and live and hope to find fulfillment, what part of this do you want to exclude? Why would you want to narrow your scope? Why would you want to say, no, 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 I, I can't pay attention to this way of understanding it, I can only look at it this way. So for me, it's a natural combination. Um, it's a way of trying as much as possible to really integrate the different kinds of information we can gather about this reality that we share and the goals that we hope to pursue in, in living out this life. And if we have people who are more deeply embedded in the science, in the technological development, you can start to anticipate, not specifics, but perhaps some general directions of advance, and then anticipate some of the questions that might arise. So one of the ones that's, that's coming out of my area, where, where I do most of my uh, work, is this idea that as we gain this ability to manipulate the sort of biological substratum that is part of us. That's going to obviously raise the question, well, what does it mean to be human? How much can we manipulate? How far can we push things? What can we add or subtract? And then fundamentally affect our humanness. Yeah, I think we can, we can ask that question now. Exactly what the manipulations will be? Uh, I mean, I can guess somewhat broadly. I may not be right with the specifics, but I think we will be able to anticipate some of the challenges that lie ahead. My thought is, if we can do a better job wrestling with these things now and anticipating what comes, we can get into a sort of a mindset that allows us to better respond and react when surprises come along because we will have trained ourselves in such a way as to live in anticipatory mode. To say there will be surprises, there will be wonderful surprises, wonderful gifts, but they'll be challenging at the same time. Can we develop a process, can we develop a way of thinking that allows us to be more um, amenable to that sort of reality, that kind of social structure within which we live, and I think we can.